I like tapes. So I didn't get up by a good time, she didn't. Sorry, Ted, I remember much. Punching up the ass. That was a bit windy today, too. Up the air. All right. Turn around this way. Yeah, the round bit looks good. So, um, you can help me get a box out flower a bit. I'm going to try and pop it. You saw ever so good. Before I got the video, the, the GoPro 5 on it too, but she was so really good when you pop it. Fed tape, so. Anyway, there hasn't been much lately. Um, yeah, I might try and get a box out in a bit. Yeah. Yeah. If, if we can talk around my wife around, she can help me get the box out every day. No, who's that? Nobody. Okay. But it's got to be done, hasn't it? When I start getting used to a bad box, Ted. Good girl. Good girl. So the baby box. So I've spent so much time with her. I'll take her out there every day now. She goes out the front every day. Uh, unless the weather was really bad. I took her some water out of dinner. Um, I don't know about her, but she didn't want it to die. And then luckily enough, we had a bit of a shower, didn't we, Pop? 
because mm -hmm. she had a water set up yes last night so I thought it looks like she wants a drink and she did Tibbs. Sometimes what you'll see is If ever you see him pulling at blades of grass, Tibbs. So, sometimes you'll see him playing with the grass and you think what they're doing, pulling blades of grass. So, I, but what they're doing is looking for moisture on the grass. A bit of joke. We ain't had very good weather lately. The weather's been a bit rubbishy lately, so I set her up with some water. Um, every time she's round here, and I took her some out again today, but she didn't want to make it. So I don't know whether to bring it there and we've got the gate. Right, right, right. She's looking a bit interested behind, but no, no. no. You've got to be careful with them, James. Don't get... No. No. Come on. Very good girl. Very good girl. No. She's all got bonked in the face today, James. It's all safe with her. No. I was trying to shield her from the heavy wind. So I had her in close to me, shielding her, because it was upsetting her a bit. <coughs> and then someone went and started up a, a mower that, where I couldn't see, so she caught me unawares then. A little, well, not unawares, but I was careful, so you, you have to be careful, James. <coughs> you know, I held her in tight to me, really tight like that, but you have to weigh it up what's best for your bird and yourself at the particular time. It was really blowing the gale, it was really upsetting the word it flat. So my old room close to me and it quite did out. You seen on the video. I think that happened not long afterwards, so but you seen she was quieting down. What I would suggest to is when you're manning them, until you've manned them to a certain extent, like outside, pick, pick a calm day. Don't pick them out on a blustery day, James, because they're always more skittish on a blustery day. So I Do you think she loves me, dude? My wife says you can tell she loves you. Some people won't make incapable of love and affection, but no, 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 Very good girl. Good girl. No, Papa. No. 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 You see, Tibbs? I knew she was going to go. Control them. Control them when they do that. Make sure they cannot tangle herself up in their lead. No! Just try to confirm, Tapes. I know she was going to do that, didn't I? No. No. And it's getting that time of night. Do you notice I keep a lead out the way, Tapes? I've tried lots of different ways. This is the best way I have found that I can keep her safe. She's, remember she's a, a, a large bird. But 
No, Poppet. No. 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 Do you see that, Tubes? No. No. She tried, she tried, she tried, and then she tried some more, but it didn't work, did it, Tubes? She hasn't hurt herself. She hasn't hurt me. Flo? Yeah? There's nothing out here distracting her, is there? Now that was the mother of all trying to win out on me tapes, wasn't it? You gotta admit, no. That was the mother of all. That was the mother of them all tapes, wasn't it? But don't let them win, but keep them safe. Keep them safe, James. Do not let them win you. Keep a firm voice. Keep them, keep them secure. Keep them safe. You'll notice when I look back on the videos, the wings never touch the ground. They never touch anything. They never hit anything. Now you've got to admit, that was the mother of all flying off when it turns. Aye, it was really. Aye. Do you see, it ties right when I do that. Ties right. She was trying to win out on me, do you see? She thought, oh, I'm going to try it, I'll win him. But she didn't. You didn't see her hanging upside down. Not like loads of birds I see, they bait and then they're hanging upside down. My technique works, James, doesn't it? But you have to do it at the right time. Do you see? I'll shoot. Do you see? They. You see what she was like, anyway. But that was the mother of all flying off to him, wasn't it? And we still kept it safe, didn't we? And we still stopped it, didn't we? Don't let them win, too. But you can admit, when you watch this, remember I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it. So you see now how bad that was, that was a bad. What it is is they try and fly off and it turns, generally it'll turn into a bait. But I don't, I don't have that. I don't want my birds hanging upside down, it's not good for them. So I'll use that method that you see to flick her back up. She has to be flicked back up. If she doesn't, they'll do it all the more. And once I start hanging upside down, I'll just hang there. Honestly, too, so well, I'll just hang there. So if they know, they cannot do that. It's not good for a bear to hang up something because I can drown to it. But what I'll do is if they start that, it's called baiting when they hang upside down. But you know, I know. So my technique flicks them around. She's got to sit there. You see, that was the mother of all flying off. It's some of them, I think, oh, fly off. But do you see, too? Because that wasn't a good girl, was it? Tell them a firm, firm no. When I do something good, praise them. Praise them. She knows what no means. Believe you me, 
If I let her get away with that one, she'll hang upside down. And I'm telling you to say, well, I'll just hang upside down. And the only way then you can recover, and then I'll do the, I'll do the feet like this, and they won't stand up. The only way you can recover that is to lay them down on the ground and let them jump back up onto the boats and then they've won. Do you see, Tubes, if they do that too much, they'll do this with the feet. Refuse, refuse to stand on your glove. So you have to keep on top. Well, that was the mother of all. I'm not saying it was a babe, because it wasn't, because she didn't hang upside down. She tried to fly it off, she tried to get her own way. She didn't hang upside down, so do you see, Terps? My method, it takes it out to me. Even I was getting dizzy, because I was going round with her, Terps, so she couldn't hurt herself. I even got this in. But I kept her safe, tubes. All the feathers. She didn't hit herself. This is why I have to be careful where I stand. I know when she's going to go, generally. But sometimes circumstances lead for you to, to keep them in closer than you might not want to when it's windy so that you can you can't see what your bird's up to so, so easily. Do you see tubes? But don't let them win out on the tubes. See my way look. There was none of this hang up. And the leads touching the leads out the way. I've tried shortening the lead, I've tried looping it round my fingers, it doesn't work. The bird, not for me, the bird this size, it does not work. The bird this size. Because each time I've tried certain other ways, it can get round in it because they do it so vicious and twaddle edged. What have you? If that gets round her neck and it's a short lead, do you see? puts her in stress and it's difficult then I've got to try and get that off on a short lead and she's already bending down here do you, do you see it's bad that's why I have a lead there do you see and I'll keep the length like that but it's secure out the way then if it did go round the back of her then I could lift it round safely which it doesn't because it's always in there but do you see it this is what works best for this type of bird with me. Um, with smaller birds, it's not not a problem because you just loop it around your fingers like you know where you you dip it, just loop it into your fingers. Right. But with her, see what I'll do is I'll have a lot of that, I'll hold that there, and I've got a support under my arm as well as on my belly. That's if I think she's a bit triddled. <laughs> Alright? So this is why I do this way to, to keep her safe. My main priority is to keep her safe. Some people might... But it works, James, it works. I've tried various different ways. The normal routine would be how you normally have it, you don't go on one shortly. It doesn't work. It nearly ended badly once. Because I did that, somehow she went round, and because it was a short lead, she got her head looped through it, even on a short lead, got her head looped through it, and it was pulling her down, right down there, because it was so short, uh, but you see, she's a big bird. So I had to gently loop it up. You see, she was always kept safe. I'm glad you've seen that, James. Because you know, you see, you see it all. 
if I can't do edits and that, I, I can't be bothered and I, I don't really know what I'm doing half the time. So you see it as it happens, which is how it should be. This is how you learn. You've seen the technique I used. You've seen her try to fly off really badly. Now, just imagine if I can control an eagle that's probably sometimes up to 13 pounds, 13 and a half pounds, when she's been eaten, when she's eaten. If I can control an eagle, any other bird that's more like a doddle, isn't it? Doddle. So, if you've got a smaller bird, make sure you, you loop your loop your lead round your fingers like normal things, or like a seat. Um, so, just use the normal techniques for smaller birds. All right? On her, she'd pull it straight out. She's so powerful. She'd pull out that bluff. You can't use the normal techniques. She's so powerful. So I use this, and you see I can control her with eight or inches or so. So stick with your normal techniques for your your birds. I do this with her because I found this works best with this particular bird. It might not work like that. My other eagle, I did it the normal way, I looped it back. Because she was a lot smaller eagle, she hadn't got the power that Daisy has. You know, the other eagle, yeah, it's like a walk in the path, path to, to me. Because she's so powerful, so powerful. When she tries to hide the power is so much there. With the other one, the power was nothing compared to her. No, the other one was a steppy. If you've watched my old video, I so no. So, this is how I use it. This is why it's in there, tips. People might probably find fault, but this is what I found best to keep her safe. It's all about keeping yourself safe and your bird. Alright, and make it enjoyable. See, look, she's settled now. Do you see, dude? She's settled down. Ain't ya? Because why? Why? Because she didn't get away with it. Now, if I had to use that technique that I use, she'd, I'd have had to put her on the floor and let her jump to a perch and she'd have won out. She'd have done it then all the more. The next time, she'd have done it worse and worse until she got lie down on the floor to go back on a perch because they get to a point where they'll just ball up the feet like this and they will not and refuse to stand on the block. Do you see Ted? So by using that technique they have no choice but to go back on your glove. Safe, safely. It's bad for a bird to run upside down, it's called bait. I don't want your bird hanging upside down today. They can drown. They can drown quite quickly on the fluids. Run straight into the lungs. So, use that technique. If, well, the smaller it's up to you, tips. I use this technique. It's the same sort of technique you'd use for all birds. But I use this different technique for her. So just loop it round. Put your your jesses as normal, then loop you, have a bit of slack with it, you need slack with it, and just loop them around your fingers, like you normally, you would normally do. I only use this technique with this bird because of the size and the power of my tips. Do you see? And I found it works best like this. And you can see, she can try and fly off as many times as she wants, she still kept safe, but she doesn't went out. So I'm going to pop her down. Now.
Whatever you can see, but I'll show you some of the tapes. That's a five reverse tape, honestly that's a five and I might have. If you look back on my old videos, you'll see the mic That's a five reverse. Any puppet. Good girl puppet. So right. You know this camera. Ooh. A little bit of blood on that just on you, but I've wiped it once there, but And I've washed it for you too, so. It's alright, puppy. Oh, it's that sock piece, dude. Sorry. <laughs> it's my sock 